Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore the process of sharing files, folders, and drives between computers over a network in Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11. It's an essential skill, especially in a world where collaboration is key. So, let's dive right in. Before we begin, ensure that both computers are connected to the same network. This can be a wired or wireless connection. Now, let's get started. The first step is to enable network discovery on both computers. Head to the settings menu by clicking Windows button and on your left you will find setting button or use Windows key plus I, click on network and internet, and then. After click network and internet on the second button from bottom click on sharing options and a new page will be opened with three expandable buttons, private, current profile, guest or public and all networks. Expand private, current profile, and check on the following checkboxes. 1. Turn on network discovery. 2. Turn on file and printer sharing. On guest or public. Check following checkboxes. 1. Turn on network discovery. 2. Turn on file and printer sharing. Under all network check the following checkboxes. 1. Turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the folder. 2. Turn off password sharing, optional step. Share a file or folder. Now that our sharing settings are in place, let's actually share a file or folder. Right-click on the file or folder you want to share and on button click on Properties. A new page will appear with different. Click on Sharing option, here there is two button share and advanced sharing. Click Share to everyone where you give permissions according to their usage. Let's test our shared folder whether is working since I have renamed my PC name I will be using that name. If you don't know how to rename your PC kindly use the link on description to watch that video. Now press Windows key plus R. As demonstrated on the video. try with a different machine within our network. It is working well. Let's try. add another folder and copy it on the new computer.
Thanks for watching this video.